last Wednesday night, our YouTube live stream was about the subject of canceling the curses of a lodge. If you didn't see it, check it out. It was aired on the 29th of July, 2020, and you can look at it on our YouTube channel. It's posted there now. I interviewed several people whose ancestors were involved in Freemasonry, and they talked about the torment they had suffered because of that. But there's a couple of issues we didn't explore that night. One of them is the sexual perversion that goes on in some lodges. The other is the code of silence and secrecy that all lodge members are bound by. Every single person in Freemasonry, from the first entered apprenticeship degree, all have to speak an oath and a vow of death over their lives. For example, the neophytes agree not to tell and promise and swear they will never speak about what goes on in the lodge. My new book, Freedom from Freemasonry, has that entire initial oath in print. I can't read you the whole thing. You can get the book and you can read it there. But let me just read this small portion of what they agreed to. Again, every lodge member has done this. Binding myself under no less penalty than to have my left breast torn open and my heart and vitals taken from thence and thrown over my left shoulder and carried into the valley of Jehoshaphat, there to become a prey to the wild beasts of the field and the vultures of the air. They also agree that if they ever reveal the secrets of what goes on in the lodge, they will have their throat slit, and they make a motion like this indicating their agreement, slit ear to ear. If you have people in your family, ancestors, or living family members who are Freemasons in the lodge, they have entered into these death vows, oaths, and curses, and you can suffer from it. That's the secrecy that they're bound by. And what about the sex? Well, not all lodges have perversion taking place, but many of them do. They have perversion and pedophilia and all sorts of horrible things that honestly are too vile to speak about right now. I can tell you this, the bounds know no length to which they will go and stop. Now I have heard this from hundreds of people who have come out of the lodge and they've told me what goes on in there. Plus, as an exorcist, I've dealt with many hundreds and hundreds of cases where the demons manifest and they brag about these unspeakable atrocities that take place in the lodge. How is this possible with an organization that has as its motto, we make good men better? That's their motto. That's what they believe. How can these things take place? Because of the lies? Because of the secrecy? because of the vows, because of the oaths, and quite frankly, people who have seen these things and come out of Freemasonry are terrified. Some of them are literally in fear of their lives. And you can confront a Freemason about this, and of course they'll deny it. They won't tell you the truth. Now, some of them may be unaware of these kinds of things because that doesn't take place in their lodge. Others know what goes on, and they'll lie because they are bound by a curse of death. No Christian can be a member of the Lodge. No Christian in good conscience can be a Freemason. If you are, get out and avoid the sex and the lies of the Lodge. Your financial support and prayers make it possible for us to bring hope for the hurting and freedom to those in spiritual bondage. For the latest information regarding ministry outreaches, go to boblarson.org or call 303-980-1511.